Active driving assistance systems combine lane centering assistance and adaptive cruise control to automate steering, acceleration, and braking to help the vehicle follow the road. After testing 12 active driving assistance systems on our test track, as well as a 50 mile loop on public roads, here are the best and worst ADA systems that you can buy today. Coming in at number three is Mercedes-Benz with what it calls its driver assistance system. Lane centering assistance offered smooth adjustments on curvy roads and allowed the driver to easily offer their own steering adjustments without having the system shut off. However, we don't like that the Mercedes system only requires a hand resting on the steering wheel to try to tell if the driver is paying attention. And it can take up to 30 seconds before it gives an audible warning to the driver if they stop holding the wheel. Number two is what General Motors calls Super Cruise. We give GM major points for including a direct driver monitoring system with Super Cruise, using an infrared camera to monitor the driver's eyes to confirm they're paying attention to the road whenever the automated system is active. And if a driver stops responding to prompts to re-engage, like in the event of a medical emergency, Super Cruise will turn on the emergency flashers, bring the car to a full stop in its lane, and call for help. That said, we wish the lane centering assistance feature of Super Cruise was available on regular roads rather than only on divided highways that have been pre-mapped by GM. And at number one, the best active driving assistance system on the market today is Ford's Blue Cruise. Also using an infrared camera to monitor the driver, Blue Cruise excels in both scope and usability. Not only can it be used on secondary roads, it doesn't disengage when the driver moves the steering wheel like some of the other systems that we tested. Blue Cruise is an excellent balance of safety and comfort, with the system acting as an extension of the driving experience rather than something a driver needs to pay attention to. But not every system was as impressive. Out of the 12 we tested, the Highway Driving Assist found in Kia, Hyundai, and Genesis models had the worst performance. The lane centering assistance had a tendency to ping pong the car back and forth between lanes, never truly staying smoothly in the center, and occasionally had issues keeping the vehicle between lane lines through curves. Also concerning is that Highway Driving Assist will turn off completely if the driver fails to respond to alerts, leaving a distracted or medically impaired driver continuing forward with no help from the vehicle's systems. Check out our detailed ratings for more on how each of the 12 systems performed in our tests.